So I'm thinking um, now that I'm thinking about it, that you might have approached this a little bit differently. And so if we hadn't have used uh, the conversion into known meters, um, that definitely changes things around. So um, the reason that it, that it matters, if you got a, a wonky answer that was similar to this, but uh, like dramatically larger than what it was meant to be, I'm going to guess what you made the mistake on is if you converted the liters into centimeters, it's really important that when we consider that cylinder, that we do the conversion to centimeters as well. So that's going to now have a diameter of 200 and a height of 1500 centimeters and centimeters. And again, the 1500 doesn't really play. But when we come back here, we're going to have the volume of the cylinder is equal to pi. And now the radius doesn't just go away. It's really, really important, of course, is that the radius is 100 and that's going to be squared h. And so when I simplify that, the volume of the cylinder is going to be, I guess that is 1 with 4 zeros, so 10,000 pi uh, h. So now when I differentiate, we're going to get the dv by dt is equal to 10,000 pi dh by dt. And we know that dv by dt is, uh, we established, I get this, 500,000 centimeters cubed, so that's 500 thousand centimeters cubed is equal to um, a thousand or ten thousand excuse me uh, pi dh by dt and then we're going to divide both sides by ten thousand pi divide by ten thousand pi and when i do that let me give myself a little bit more room here when i do that we're going to find of course that this is going to be 50 over pi and that's going to be in centimeters for dh by dt which is as we showed earlier uh, the same value as 0.5 meters um, and that wouldn't be cubed on here anymore of course because well the changing a height